everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure review on the brand new WWE Elite 2 pack Triple H and Jeff Hardy from SmackDown 2001, man. And I remember seeing the render images of this or the promo packaging images for this, and I absolutely crapped myself. One being, this is like super nostalgic for me, man. Like, when I think of my earliest years of wrestling, man, around that time, around 2000, 2001, man, that's about when I started, like, hardcore loving wrestling. That's when I first began to fall in love with wrestling. And just seeing this two-pack here, man, and just seeing everything that it encaptures. This Hardy Boys jersey, man. Oh, God. This is just, this is just like primetime MDT wrestling. Just love and nostalgia wrapped up into a two-pack, and I'm just so excited, man. So let's shut the hell up. Dive straight into it, guys. If you guys would like to grab this, go to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But here's the front viewing window. H, title, jersey, Hardy. You got Triple H, Jeff Hardy in this beautiful packaging, man. This is uh, this is a mock collector's dream. You got the SmackDown logo back there at the top, WWE logo. Really enjoy this blue pattern we got going on. On the side, you do get an image of H, and on the other side, you do get an image of Hardy right there. Beautiful looking specimen of a man. Up here, it says Jeff Hardy, Triple H, SmackDown. Images of the two men here. You get a little bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can go ahead and pause it right now. Some more information about the talent. Nothing too much going on with the rest of it, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack the game and the charismatic enigma out of their packaging. All right, guys, so here's Triple H and Jeff Hardy out of their packaging. Now, I gotta say, at first glance, I'm loving everything that we've got going on with this two-pack. Not a lot of nits and picks to go around in this set, but we will dive into all the details with the Triple H and the Jeff Hardy figures, man. But since this is a two-pack, they come together. You do receive both of these. It's not like, you know, one's one and one's the other. Everything that you see in this pack comes together as one. So we're gonna treat the review such as that, and we are going to review their accessories all together, then take a closer look at one figure, then the other figure, and wrap everything up. So that being said, guys, let's dive into Triple H and Jeff Hardy's accessories and let you guys know exactly what you get and the details of what you get with this two-pack from SmackDown 2001. Don't ever say 2001 like that, ever. It's 2001. Moving on. So getting into the accessories of this two-pack, guys, starting out first, let's start off with Triple H's accessories. The first thing we get is the Oval Intercontinental Championship. Now, this is my favorite iteration of the Intercontinental Championship. When I think of the Intercontinental title, this is what I think of. It's beautiful, it's terrific, it's excellent. This is the best version. I know people like the white version. I know people like the different colors, but this is the best version, okay? It's the best one. We've seen this many times. We've gotten this with many figures, but I think this is a pretty rare belt. You know, it hasn't come with a lot of people, so seeing it here is a very nice addition. It's got a nice gold sheen to it. We've seen it before. It looks terrific. As far as interchangeable hands go, guys, we do get fisted hands for our Triple H figure, which he actually comes out of the packaging with, and then he also comes with mic holding hands out, so you get mic holding hands and fisted hands for your Triple H. Interchangeable hands with Jeff Hardy include his signature Jeff Hardy hands with nice nail polish on there. Looks really good with the black sleeves on there. And one thing that is excellent, just like his two-pack with his brother, the ringside exclusive Brood Hardys, he comes with beautiful mic holding hands with also beautiful black nail polish. So it's not like his regular elites where they give you fisted hands and the signature hands. They actually give you mic holding hands like his other two-packs. So if we could just get our Jeff figures, not just the flashback man. His current figures need the mic holding hands as well, please. But outside of the interchangeable hands, guys, I mean, this is probably one of my biggest purchase points for the two-pack. I mean, the Jeff alone, all the stuff you get with the Jeff is worth the two-pack alone. But this jersey right here, man, is so nostalgic for me. I owned this jersey. I hate I ever got rid of it, but you got the Hardy Boys logo in the purple and green. It is sleeveless. On the back, it's supposed to say Hardy with 2X for 2 Extreme. But, you know, this is still nice. Maybe later down the line, like in a year or two, two or three years, maybe we'll get the version without the Velcro on it, and they'll actually be able to complete the full graphic. You guys know with the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin, we are getting a non-Velcro shirt with the front and back graphics. Hopefully that's where we're going with the entire line, but this is just sick as hell. I'm so excited to own this in the collection officially. I picked up two of this pack simply to have one of these for fix-ups and customs and stuff, and then the other shirt, which is probably an even bigger deal for most people, I wanted the jersey, but having this mesh shirt with these belts on here, well, they're like 
like mini belts that were attached to the mesh shirt. You guys know the Hardy Boys were running rampant in the early 2000s, late 90s with these mesh shirts. And this looks great. It looks great on the figure. Seeing it like being able to add these red bars as well as the mesh shirt is very impressive for Mattel. And maybe that's just because they knew the price point of this two pack kind of made sense. You know, a less, a minimalistic detailed Triple H figure, you know, combined with Jeff with his, you know, intricate looks that would require a lot of work like this and like his necklaces and stuff like that. Maybe that's the smart decision making, but this is excellent, man. They did a great job on this. I would be careful so you don't like tear any of these holes with it, but this is a great accessory. I know any Hardy Boy fans, they, they know what the hell's up, man. This, this, this ish is excellent. But that does it for the two-pack accessories. So diving into our Triple H figure first, man, this is the Ultimate Edition head sculpt, I'm pretty sure, or it's slightly different, maybe. We'll do a comparison in a moment, but I like this head sculpt. If, if it is the Ultimate Edition, I don't really have an issue with it. I think it looks just like Triple H. You got your simple Triple H jack torso, which is pretty accurate for the time. Triple H arms with our black elbow pads. You get the white wrist tape, finger tape on the hands. These trunks are great. This reminds me of the two-man power trip with Stone Cold Steve Austin. He had the gold HHH silver outline. Same design on the back. I've actually been waiting on this Triple H to be released, so having this in my Triple H collection is excellent. Triple H is one of my favorites of all time, so constantly expanding on the Triple H's and stuff like that is excellent. Going down to the knee pads, he actually doesn't have the long knee pads like he actually wore. He has the shorter ones. Better for articulation, not the best for accuracy. And then we have just black wrestling boots like Triple H has. So, man, not like the most detailed figure or anything, but still a nice addition, and I'm glad I could knock this attire out for the collection, and it is nice for, you know, your early 2000s era of, uh, of Triple H. Now, for your Triple H figure comparisons, guys, here's the new two-pack Triple H in the middle. We have our O2 return Triple H on the left, and then we have our Ultimate Edition Triple H on the right. You guys can see I fix it up with tape and a knee brace here. I don't think, I think during this matchup and this time in particular, I'm pretty sure he was wearing a knee brace on the right leg. I could be wrong about that because this is later than this, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Nonetheless, these are the same head sculpts. It all looks good and everything's dandy and such. I'd like to put this torso over here because I, I, you know, I don't like the Ultimate Edition torsos, but these head sculpts look pretty much the same, man. Again, I think the whole idea behind this was, you know, putting a simplistic elite like Triple H changed the deco. A couple, you know, not too much going on with it. And then Jeff Hardy is where we can put the new head sculpt and the two shirts and everything like that, though a title belt. Pretty great idea, if you ask me, for an Elite 2-pack. Now, on the other side of our 2-pack, man, the Jeff Hardy figure, which I think is the is the buying point, the main selling point of this 2-pack, this Jeff Hardy is immaculate, man. This early 2000s iteration of Jeff Hardy is just so nostalgic for me, man. The red hair looks great, and you have the purple and the yellow highlights going through here. Now, one thing I love is when I was a kid, the best Christmas present that I ever received in my entire life, my aunts from out of town, they lived in Texas, okay? They bought me the Toys R Us exclusive tag team set that came with the Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, the Dudleys, tables, ladders, and chairs, and a, uh, a, a kid's version toy belt of the World Tag Titles. If anybody out there that's watching this has that mock, please, God, hit me up. I want that so damn bad. It was like, it had, it was like a carrying case, man. It had like a handle and everything. I opened that in Christmas. I think it was 2001. Christmas 2001, I received that. I was five years old. Best Christmas gift I ever received. And there was a Jeff Hardy in that pack that my dog actually ate the hair out of. And I don't know why she ate the hair. I think it's because it looked like this. It had all the rainbow hair colors going through it. What a damn, what a damn time, man. What a time to be alive. And that's just what I think of when I see this two-pack, when I see this Hardy with the jersey and the time and the era, man. Just, just nostalgia coming out of my butt. But this head sculpt looks fantastic. The necklace looks fantastic. I love what we got going on right here. Shirtless torso, same pretty much everything from the neck down as our ringside exclusive brood Hardys. The sleeves are a bit different, like the pattern on them are a bit different. You got the black, you know, Jeff Hardy signature sleeves. White belt, black pants going all the way down, white kick pad feet. Not a lot of difference going on, but this head sculpt does look really good. I like it. Can't wait to do fix-ups with it. And and just, dude, what an excellent Jeff Hardy figure, man. And it actually, I don't know what it is, but the legs actually don't feel as stiff as other Hardys. I'm not sure why that is. But it's definitely worth pointing out. You got the Bo Dallas torso on there, just like every other shirtless Hardy that we've gotten. But man, I just am in love with this Hardy, dude. Excellent stuff. So for your Jeff Hardy Elite figure comparisons, guys, here is the brand new two-pack Hardy in the middle. You have our Brood Brothers ringside exclusive two-pack Hardy. We have my fix-up WrestleMania X7 Hardy. We have the Elite 75, the Survivor Series, and the Elite 84 with a head swap 
up. Now you guys can just see here, this is a custom made mesh shirt and I think that Mattel did a really good job creating their own version of that. I would say that Mattel is actually a little bit better even though it's rolling up right here. Nonetheless, having these mesh shirts, man, I hope that they can do this moving forward. You know, plug that into the main elite line, change up some of the stuff, maybe give us different colors and different Hardys, man. Hopefully, Jeff Hardy doesn't leave. We do have a ton of Jeff Hardy figures. It's not like, you know, we haven't had plenty to customize and create other looks of Hardy, but the longer he stays in WWE, the more we can get great Hardy figures like this, and I am all for it, man. I know that Matt left, and we can't really get that, but we can get AEW figures of him, so that's another thing, and maybe Jeff could go over to AEW, maybe get AEW figures of Jeff. I think they'd nail that as well, but seeing all these Hardys makes me happy. It's just a small fraction of my Hardy collection, but adding all these up on the shelf and uh, plugging these in as well as other fix-ups and stuff is going to be great, but I love seeing all these Hardys, man. Makes my heart warm, and Jeff Hardy's another one of my all-time goats, so. And then for another comparison, guys, we have Team Extreme here with Matt Hardy, Lita, and Jeff Hardy. If you guys wanted to see what the new Jeff looked like up next to Lita and Matt, well, there you go. You got all three featured there for your Team Extreme shelves or whatever the hell. This is a custom Lita, but, you know, you get the same effect there. With the, You get the idea. But anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up our two-pack Elite SmackDown 2001 Triple H and Jeff Hardy review, man. I had a ton of fun reviewing this set, taking a look at everything here today. If you guys would like to pick this up again, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I think I have another one of these on the way. I, I don't think this is, uh, this is just my one that shipped alone. I do think I have another one coming with Elite Series 85, so we'll just have to see about that when that arrives and, you know, fix-ups and surgery and stuff. Probably coming soon on these Jeffs, man, for sure. But thank you guys so very much for checking out the review. Overall, the set is 100% worth it, man. I mean, the title, the jersey, the mesh shirt, the Hardy stuff, I absolutely 100% am on board with this. I wouldn't blame you if you bought five. So, I'm fully endorsing this set. That's about all I have to say, but thank you guys so very much for watching, guys. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is gonna go to Blaine Official, who says MDT's booking for the pick fed is literally the only booking that doesn't get leaked all over the damn place. And yeah, I try to keep that under wraps, you know? I do my best to try to keep that under wraps. Because, I mean, that's the whole point, right? Like, if it gets spoiled, then it's like, I mean, you'll still watch, you know? You never know anything fully. You never know if it's going to be hard concrete, you know, 100% there. But I try to keep everything for the pick fed. I'll give teasers and stuff, but I, I try to keep everything, you know, I try to keep a lid on everything as much as humanly possible, you know? Not, I can't always do it, and I try to, you know, build up some hype for it and everything like that. But huge shout-out to Blaine Official for that comment, man. Thank you so very much for watching, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and thank God, Mattel didn't cross the line, and they actually gave this Hardy mic holding hands. Where the hell are your mic holding hands? Huh? <laughs>